Hey guys, in this video we are going to test the best bike helmet you can buy right now. I made this checklist based on my personal opinions and study time, and I've listed them based on the security and pricing features I've included for options for each type of consumer, so you can easily verify this best bike helmet for yourself or your family. We always try to provide customers with informative ideas so that they can easily verify any product. If you would like more information and would like to set an updated price on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description below. Our first choice. The Gyro Synth MIPS earns consistently high scores in nearly every rating metric, with its exceptional comfort, lightweight design, and semi-aerodynamic shape. We love how the Synth is light and slightly more aerodynamic than other contenders. We found that the Synth has a slightly higher volume fit with more room in the forehead area for those with larger noggins that need protection. If you seek great comfort with decent ventilation and an aerodynamic design, this is the one to consider. One potential shortfall with the Synth is its exposed EPS foam on the lower part of the helmet brim, which could potentially be damaged if dropped or scraped against. While this weight-saving design feature is not uncommon with other models in the lineup, it just means you'll need to give your helmet a little extra care during storage and transport. With one of the lowest weights in the lineup and a built-in MIPS liner for improved crash protection, the Synth is a high-performance training and racing helmet that is consistently among the best of the bunch. At number two, with its luxurious comfort, excellent ventilation, and classy high-end style, the Bell Z20 MIPS is another favorite. It features similar performance to other high performers, but features a different shape that some may prefer. It has both thick padding and excellent ventilation, which offers comfort throughout the season. It has a sharp look with top-of-the-line features that rate highly in every scoring metric. The fit of this helmet has a flatter slope on the front of the helmet that accommodates a less voluminous head and shorter forehead. While the Z20 is a very comfortable and high-performing helmet, it is slightly heavier than some other top-tier competitors, weighing in at 336 grams in a size large. While this is a slight weight penalty for such high performance, we are only talking about 20 to 30 grams overall. The Z20 is on the expensive side, but its price is in line with market pricing for a flagship helmet, providing top-of-the-line features. At number 3, the Gyro Agilis stands out as one of the highest performing helmets in the entire lineup at any price point. The Agilis has one of the most comfortable designs that we've tested with an excellent full circumference headband with an integrated MIPS liner that comfortably cradles the head, as well as just the right amount of padding in just the right places. In our opinion, this model is as comfortable as any other helmet that we've tested. The full coverage polycarbonate shell material fully encases the EPS foam liner for extra durability, with hardly any of the sensitive foam material exposed. All of this performance comes with one of the lowest list prices in the lineup, making it of tremendous value. While the Agilis impresses with its comfort, adjustability and durability, it does lack some ventilation and comes in at a slightly heavier weight. Its design, with a full coverage polycarbonate shell, also doesn't feel as sleek and high quality as some of its comparatively more expensive competitors. However, we think these are reasonable sacrifices to make to save a good chunk of change off the list price of many of the top tier models. We think most riders will be totally happy with this helmet, and it comes highly recommended. At number 4, the Cask Infinity features a sleek design that uses a unique retractable door which opens up for extra ventilation or closes to provide a smooth and streamlined profile. This helmet makes an excellent choice for riders looking to do a lot of solo breaks, sprinting and maybe an odd time trial, but doesn't want to completely sacrifice ventilation for improved aerodynamics. 
The Infinity also has a thick padding system that helps draw moisture away from the head in warmer weather and helps insulate in cooler weather. The upside is that this makes cold weather riding more comfortable with the closable vent and roomy head case that fits a warm cap or beanie. Unfortunately, with the extra padding mentioned above, this helmet can get toasty in the winter. In addition, while its ventilation is certainly noticeable, the ventilation performance doesn't stack up to that of fully adequately ventilated road helmets. If you tend to do most of your riding when the mercury rises, you may want to look into a better ventilated option, which typically means giving up some aerodynamic qualities. If you are set on an aero profile, but want a flexible design with reasonable ventilation, you'll have a hard time finding a better performing model. At number 5, the Laser Z1 MIPS earns recognition for its incredibly lightweight design and noteworthy ventilation. It features 31 vents that are large and placed exceptionally well, keeping your head cool when you begin to sweat. Its 305 gram weight, men's size large, is among the lightest helmets in our lineup with a built-in MIPS liner. With comfortable padding and a unique headband adjustment dial on top of the helmet, there's a lot to like about the Z1. Although the Z1 MIPS stands out for its high-end ventilation, its lightweight design definitely doesn't feel as substantial and durable as other models. While this wouldn't impact the safety and crash protection capabilities of the helmet, it could potentially compromise the long-term durability. Also, the adjustment dial on top of the helmet, while unique and perfectly serviceable, does take a little bit of getting used to, and some riders may prefer a more traditional design. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a nice day.